Hi, this is Dr. Kurenian at DesiredBD.com. Uh, I just wanted to go over one of the issues that a lot of uh, patients uh, find it very interesting. Today we removed this uh, saline implant from our patient that was complaining one of the implant has gone down, uh, but it had stopped. So she didn't think it was deflated, but I was explaining to her that's one of the leakage of saline implant, that's how it presents itself. And the reason for that is, this is the implant that was not deflated, and you can see that it's uh, there's no leakage, the valve, but there's a valve here for saline implant, and that's where usually a leakage happens, when this valve becomes uh, insufficient. And this was the breast that she, the implant that she felt it has gone down. And the reason for that is, you know, when you squeeze and you see the leakage happening, and it's usually through a deficient valve or around the valve that it starts leaking from the pressure of the implant and it stops when the pressure is low enough that it doesn't push the imp uh, push the liquid or the saline out of the implant and basically the, it will stay in that size but it's something that uh, needs repair but if there is a rupture a big rupture on the shell of the implant in those cases they'll see in a matter of day or two the entire implant goes flat and in those cases they can easily tell but in these scenarios are such a gradual change that a lot of patients can't can't tell so when they go to a to their plastic surgeon and we, we can we can detect these very easily uh, and uh, revision of the implant uh, can be done at the same time when we're changing that's something that uh, it's very common in my practice to uh, revise the implants uh, the size or the shape or the malposition of the implant and that has become uh, one of my favorite uh, surgeries that I can make those changes uh, on the implants it's very gratifying so i hope this uh, little information helps uh, we'll see you on the next video